entitled a fine the tangent ratio and we're going to answer the question what if i could measure it so question 112 says how tall is it and you can use this tool called the clinometer but instead of using a clinometer we're going to use the measure app that's on your smartphone okay so how tall is mount everest how tall is the white house often you want to know a measurement of something you cannot easily measure with a ruler or a tape measure. Today, you will work with your team to measure the height of something inside your classroom or on your school's campus in order to apply your new tangent tool. Your task is to use your smartphone, not the clinometer, a tool that will help you measure a slope angle and a meter stick. We're also gonna use the measure tool on our smartphone from your teacher. As a, te as a team, decide how you will measure these tools, how you will use these tools to determine the height of the object selected by your teacher. Be sure to record all measurements carefully and include a diagram of the situation, okay? So the two measurements that you need are gonna be the length from your feet to the base of the object and then you're going to use the level, what we call the angle, to the top of the object, okay? So I simply started by doing the wall in this classroom, okay? I took the measurement from me to the wall, and I measured from my feet to the bottom of the wall as 8 foot 1 inch, and then I measured the angle from me to the top of the wall as 49 degrees. And then I changed the eight foot one inch into 96 inches. How did I do that? I know there's 12 inches in a foot, so I multiplied eight times 12 and added the one. Wait, that doesn't sound right. No, I didn't add the one. Oh, that should be 97. Bless you, I forgot to add the one. So we're going to use 96 inches. Let's say it's uh, 8 foot even. <laughs> okay. So here's what it looks like on the tangent triangle. We fill in the 49 degrees. Our change in Y is what we want to solve for. And we know that our change in X is 96 inches. Okay. So we set up our tangent equation. We're going to say the tangent of 49 degrees is equal to the change in y, which we want to discover as x, over the change in, uh, or change in y is x, so over our change in x, which is 96. Once you have your proportion set up, you can do the cross product. 1 times x is 1x. 96 times the tangent of 49 you multiply that on your Desmo scientific calculator and you get approximately 110.4. To change that back to feet, you divide by 12, which gets you the 9 feet, and that gets you to 108, and then there's roughly 2 more inches. Okay? So we're going to go just down into the grassy small quad area. And with your group, you're going to figure out the height of two more objects. You can pick something like, oh, the flagpole or the second story, or maybe there's a tree out there that you like, okay? So as your team, you need to get two measurements. Let me uh, 